Quake brought down buildings late on Friday night. Witnesses say people are trapped under the rubble. Thousands of residents fled out into the streets and spent the night outside as officials warned of possible aftershocks. The Interior Ministry says all available resources have been activated. The US Geological Survey says the 6.8 magnitude quake was one of the strongest to hit the region in more than a century and daylight or daybreak is still over an hour and a half away. All right, joining me now is David Wald. He's a seismologist with the U.S. Geological Survey. Uh, great to have you on and your expertise. So a magnitude 6.8 earthquake. What can you tell us about the, the strength of that magnitude? What is its potential? Well, the important thing is the uh, proximity of the shaking to the population. So it's a moderate size earthquake, but it's shallow and it's in an area that's fairly populated. So that's a problem. The other component that leads to a disaster, of course, is the vulnerability of the buildings. And we're starting to see that now in the in the news that you're presenting. There's a lot of vulnerable uh, structures, homes, uh, adobe block, unreinforced concrete and and, and concrete frames that uh, with this level of shaking that was reached are, are quite vulnerable. Tell us what we know about what the region is like in terms of, of seismic activity, because apparently it's, it's the biggest earthquake you know, in a century. That's, that's right, uh, but only by a small amount. And, and some of the earlier uh, events in Morocco, 1960 and 2004, sm while smaller, were in more populated areas, so they created quite a bit of problems. In 1960, there was 13,000 fatalities from an earthquake closer to Agadir that was you know, obviously heavily populated. So this earthquake's between Agadir and, and Marrakesh to the northeast. Uh, and it's less populated, but uh, it's a large earthquake. So there's a trade-off between the size of the earthquake and the population. So, so the, 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 the whole, yeah, go on. No, no, carry on. Well, the whole the whole region northern northern Africa is is prone to earthquakes, and uh, historically there've been many earthquakes of this size. And depending on exactly where it is with respect to the cities, that that's what leads to it devastating consequences. So explain for us, I mean, you, the epicenter is obviously important, but uh, also the depth of the earthquake. You said this was reasonably shallow. Uh, what, what does that cause? Well, the, the shallowness makes it more proximal to the, the population. So a deep earthquakes going to attenuate the shaking before it reaches the surface. Shallow earthquakes create stronger shaking in the epicentral region. And that's what we're seeing right now. Uh, so this was felt all over uh, Morocco into uh, north into Spain and, and even Portugal and, and south into uh, Algeria. So very wide footprint of shaking. Uh, but the strongest shaking was certainly in the Atlas Mountains in the epicentral region, although we see damage in, in Marrakesh, which is, oh, I think, 75 kilometers away. What, what, OK, tell, tell us what the region can expect in, in the hours and days to come in terms of aftershocks, further activity. Right. So, so far, we've only recorded one uh, magnitude uh, close to five, 4.9 aftershock. There's certainly more aftershocks happening that are below our threshold. We'll expect those to continue and perhaps more magnitude five and, and even larger earthquakes are, are, are possible. Uh, and so the, the challenge here is that, of course, this happened at 11 o'clock at night. A lot of people were inside at the time. And overnight, it's hard to get a lot of information back from from the field and, and I think we'll see uh, casualties and losses grow as we see daylight. Yeah, and one thing we're looking at, we're looking at the video that you were referencing before about some of these buildings that have uh, uh, at least been damaged or partially tumbled down. And, and, and you do make the point, it really does depend where it is, doesn't it? Because there's so many uh, historic buildings in Morocco, old buildings, uh, and, and not built to standards. Uh, they've been around for a long time, but not built to standards we see today. That's right. There's, uh, you know, the vintage of the structures is one factor, uh, but also the type of construction and, and a number of the types of construction here are extremely vulnerable, even even with some of the newer structures. 